is you see the symbolism being hacked. Now, what, uh, having this knowledge and information that we've been providing allows you to do is it allows you to actually see where much of the symbolism has been misinterpreted, that there has been a falsified war between male and female here in this world. That's what keeps us in conflict, even though we definitely need each other to survive. You'll see religions come forth that eliminate the feminine principle altogether. Like I said, when your kids ask you, well, mommy, if, dad, if God is a dad and a father, where is mommy? <laughs> it's a ghost. <laughs> you see? This, mommy's not even alive. God is alive, but mommy's a ghost. Because they, I guess, they killed mommy. You see? Like, people don't understand the ramifications of the games that they're playing with your spiritual life. And then understand that we're talking about this and you're starting to understand why this couldn't be correct. But imagine the people that are not understanding that and have no clue what's going on. Then you start seeing that this is not a game at all. Right? And that there are extraterrestrials here. That someone has embodied y'all to bail. The serpent-headed, lion, snake, whatever. Dragon. Acting vicious with the people. Someone has bought that out of their portal and have become that and have enticed others to do the same thing. You notice all the rap, the, the, the rap and the rock enticing people to just go in the wrong direction. But everything that's being talked about, if a person found themselves in that situation, they would not want to be there. I'm on the streets, I'm gang banging, I got drugs, I got guns, I got girls. Like where are you going with that? Same thing in the rock song. I'm in a penthouse, I'm blowed out of my mind, I'm about to jump off the ledge. Nobody that's listening to this stuff really wants to do this stuff. The whore, you know, the saw, you know, chop off his arm, send him to a hotel, let him see how long he could survive in the forest. Nobody wants to go do that. So why is it that we're allowing these individuals to project this with something that they love, something that they love to do? Project this into our world and destroy our beauty here. Remember, this is the gift. I want to say wholeness and balance vibrations to everyone. Think about what has been said. Ask yourself, are there any clones in your world? Has someone set itself or something set itself up as God? Do you always feel like you have some check and balance system going on with something that you need to make contact with? You need to make contact with yourself. You need to understand this symbolism and what it really means. Not taking it too far and taking it outside of yourself. Understand, you can go soft, which is the pleasantness of going into greater worlds. Or you can be ripped completely from your body. And you will return to this world because it's the only thing that you know. Meaning that if you leave this world, and this world is the only one that you really know. Like you're just material. You will return to this world. Because the spirit knows nowhere else to go. So that's key knowledge.